In this video, we'll demonstrate the Forcepoint mobile agent feature, uh, part of the AP Data Gateway Suite, to protect uh, sensitive emails with uh, potentially PII or confidential information in them from getting into mobile devices. Uh, as you're aware, if you, for instance, use an iPhone, which I'll use in this demonstration, if you receive an email that has confidential information in it from your corporation, it's very easy for you to you know, forward that email, change the sender to perhaps your personal Gmail account, and then exfiltrate that data. So Forcepoint's solution for this is to prevent uh, the emails from being visible on the phone and replace them with a message that says, you know, this email has uh, sensitive information in it, please check it on your you know, laptop or desktop. Obviously that's customizable, but uh, then the user can check it on their uh, corporate owned device, which may have more, sp more specific uh, DLP components on it. So when we talk about the uh, module itself, uh, again, it's part of the AP Data Gateway Suite. It'll come in here as the mobile AirSync agent. Uh, mine happens to be mobileagent.bblabs.com. It's a very simple setup process. Uh, once it's been deployed and it's part of the data protector image, uh, you have to reset it to be a uh, from a regular protector to a mobile agent protector. But uh, once it's deployed, it'll show up in here and it's really, really easy to set up. When you go into the properties, you'll go into this connection tab and you'll actually point the mobile agent to your normal active sync, which happens to be running on my exchange server. Uh, that way the mobile sync or mobile agent uh, module, which we're showing here, can connect to the active sync in real time, pull down that information. Um, then you specify which NICs on the device you want to monitor for incoming mobile agent uh, requests or active sync requests uh, from your mobile workforce. So the idea is you have this uh, you know, exposed on your firewall or in a DMZ and your uh, mobile devices connect to this via active sync uh, and then it goes and brokers or proxies a connection into the real active sync on exchange. That gives it the ability to uh, inspect the information going down to the mobile device and potentially replace it uh, and audit accordingly or block accordingly, which we'll show you a little bit later. So it's sort of like a reverse proxy for active sync. Then you can use your firewall to limit that only the mobile uh, agent IP addresses can connect to active sync, effectively shutting down the exchange active sync where users can get that information uh, directly. We do allow you to put your own SSL certificate in here. So if you had one for mobileagent.bblabs.com, you can put that in, or you can use our self-signed, which means during the initial setup wizard for an exchange connection or active sync connection, the mobile device may get uh, a cert error. That's a one-time thing on the iPhone. Uh, you can press okay, or you can bring in your own signed certificate. Uh, if you go to the analysis tab, this is where you can specify what that message or that custom email looks like when we replace the, the message. Uh, so obviously that's customizable with some variables here. What I'll go ahead and demonstrate is if I go into a DLP policy that I have, um, it's just looking for some basic PII information, um, specifically social security numbers or credit card numbers or DNA pattern. Uh, I'm gonna go to the destination tab and you'll see here there's a mobile email option if you're using mobile agent. You can obviously specify include, exclude rules, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to all. Um, this is already deployed, so that's pretty much, uh, pretty much it. Uh, under the reporting, you'll see that we have a mobile incidents uh, reporting area, and right now that that's empty. So I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to use my, my personal Gmail account to send an email to myself uh, without any PII in it. And then I'm going to send a separate one with some PII in it. You can see that that email just came in uh, to my OWA up there. I'm going to go ahead and just attach a database, a Word file with some social security numbers in it. And I'm going to go ahead and send that. And over here, you can see that uh, we got that test email in. Um, so we will be able to see that on the iPhone. And then because this is going directly into Exchange, of course, it gets the email that has the, the database in it. Um, so what I'm going to do to show um, this is I'm actually checking my email now, give me a second here, on my iPhone. And I just now see the test email come in. Uh, and I'll go ahead and take a screenshot of what I see. And then I'm going to bring the screenshots up, screenshots up in real time uh, on the on the phone here. And here you can see actually that 
on my OWA now, I actually got the message. We basically inserted this into the inbox and I prevented it from downloading on the phone. So I'll take another screenshot and I'm gonna go ahead and view the email and take a screenshot. Uh, and then I'm just gonna sync these photos to my phone real quick because I don't have an advanced setup to show you what's going on on the phone, but you'll see uh, I've got some new photos coming in. So as you can see, I've got some new photos that synced in. Here was the original email from 12.52 a minute ago, that first test email. Uh, and then you're gonna see that I did not receive the test with info and it was removed and then obviously the mobile device can see at 12.53 here, the uh, message blocked. And if I read the message blocked here, it'll say you have received an email message from, so my personal Gmail account, and this message contains data that cannot be downloaded mobile devices based on corporate policy, et cetera, et cetera. Remember that's a customizable message. Uh, and that's really it. So that message will never be able to be downloaded to the iPhone uh, based on policy. And then if I go over here now and I refresh, you can actually see the incident itself. You can see that the email was quarantined by the mobile agent uh, from bbarancoff.gmail.com to brian at bblabs.com. We can see that there was three social security numbers in there and we actually have a copy of the file. Now you can optionally select that you don't maybe keep the forensics just because you know, this is something that you would expect users to see as we, we strip the confidential information out. So on anything that you can trigger policy on, so maybe particular file types, uh, confidential information from a fingerprint, PII, any custom key phrases, those can be uh, prevented from being downloaded on the phone because once they're on the phone, that becomes a, a very, very difficult thing to enforce. So mobile agent's a great solution. Again, it's part of the AP data gateway suite. Uh, it's very easy to install with the uh, ISO protector to virtual. There's also a physical appliance, but uh, there's no additional cost for the appliances. Uh, the only requirement is that your uh, email system, whether it's Exchange, obviously it's included, whatever email uh, server system you have supports the ActiveSync protocol because that's what this thing uses. Uh, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video.